Okay, this is the first of two constructions from lesson 1.4, uh, angle measurements. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to construct um, a congruent version of an angle. So we're going to copy an angle. So the first thing you need to do is draw an angle of any kind. And we're going to name this angle uh, angle A. And with um, our straight edge, we're going to also draw a ray. It has an endpoint G. This is going to become our new angle. So we're going to start by taking our safety compass and we're going to put the brass ring um, at point A and we're going to draw a pretty good size arc um, that is going to intersect both of the legs of the angle. and we're going to name those two intersection points. We're going to name this one B and we're going to name this one C. Then uh, we are going to do that exact same thing from angle or from endpoint G. I always forget where I put them. It's right there. That's why I always move it with it in there. we're going to make a big arc from point G. So now we've got these. We're going to start from point B and we're going to create another arc to point C. So our, our little brass ring on point B, we need to make an arc that's going to go through point C. So this one right here, then we're going to come up here and where the intersected here we're going to do the exact same thing here. And we're going to label this intersection H. And we're going to label this intersection F. And we're just going to take our straight edge and we're going to con connect G and F. As a ray because it's an angle. And we have just made congruent angles. So we know that angle CAB is congruent to angle FGH. Or we could also say that the measure of angle CAB is equal to the measure of angle FGH. 